get the ball to Son, and then a little twin. This is why I give Griezmann fighting spirit to look at that. Look at that. That's fighting spirit right there, boys. Under pressure, and I can still turn. So we get the goal anyway. I'm just going to let this one play out, I think. So yeah, um, this is now day two on uh, manual. Pretty interesting, can't lie. Passes are flowing. I'd say the through balls, again, I'm still working on that. But I'm, I'm passing side to side under pressure. I'm getting away with it. I do want to try this on a uh, quick counter though and long ball counter to see what it's like. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm due to try that soon. I don't know. You know, I might try this um, on stream. I think I think it's better to try on stream. So yeah, so we played four. As I mentioned before, we played uh, four Div One games. We lost two one to a top hundred player. We drew. By the way, this goal, by the way, is like what? What even is this? Like turn and bang, like bruh. Oh, by the way, Donnarumma has been, that uh, new showtime Donnarumma has been kind of shaky for me, I'm not going to lie. Like, some things I expect him to save near post, he just lets in. I don't know, what, maybe it's the same for everyone else, I'm not sure. I think, again, he is probably the best. I think, I, don't, I might put Testegan above him, I don't know. But, but who knows, if if uh, La Liga comes out with a showtime pack, who knows? The goalkeeper might get a good one, maybe Oblak might get one, we don't know. It'd be nice to see a goalkeeper and uh, you know, get a card because goalkeepers are very. Um, if, you, if you don't use a legend, it's very you know terrible right now. So this is a new free kick tactic I've been doing to bait the person. So what I do is I um, pretend that I'm going to select a player to run in behind, as you can see. So I select an off ball player. So he thinks I'm going to. Uh, choose with son but then i shoot with mbappe to fake him out and then yeah so basically in three things in one so we fake with mbappe because he thinks i'm gonna pass and then we shoot so yeah we're back in it one one um yeah as i mentioned day two switch into uh manual so and now i'd say if i got to guess maybe three hours in um, same thing I mentioned before, defending. I say you have to be very good at defending. You have to be patient building up and you'd have to be good at dribbling and knowing how to keep possession. What I'd say is rule number one, please do not lose the ball in your back half because it is a nightmare. As you can see, uh, normally Vieira would intercept that pass. I'm just going to play this back slowly just to show you what I mean by passing into space. Like normally this pass right here, Vieira always gets that, but just because of that extra bit of power I can control, he doesn't get it. Obviously, we, we had, this is what I'm talking about with uh, free passes. Obviously, sometimes we don't get the um, the power right. Sometimes I feel like I put the exact same power, but if the ball still flies. But then I think it might be due to the fact that certain players have different kicking power and different uh, passing stats and obviously different curl as well, curl speeds. So I'd say, yeah, it takes time to adjust, I guess. It's not an easy thing because now it's no longer the game assisting you with how much power you put in. You have to take into consideration the amount of kicking power your player has, the amount of curl your player has, like the passing skill he has and the passing um, stats he has. So for instance, if I've got 90 passing, high kicking power and through passing, I don't have to put that much power on compared to, I don't know, like a midfielder with no passing stats and like no kicking power you have to put way more power in so i'm still learning getting a grasp of that um but yeah so it's easier for me to as i mentioned before learn the game as you can see i just twist and turn uh, i dribble a lot so even if i'm not like 100 percent sure on the pass i use the dribbling to my advantage so I always aim for passes if I'm under pressure where there are two players around. So it might be my CDM and my center back. So if I mistakenly pass the wrong person, I have another player there to pick up the loose pass kind of thing. So yeah, um, that that's another thing to mention. Um, what else have I learned? 
since switching over. I don't know how long this will last. I hope it lasts like forever because, like I said, it is rewarding. And but again, when you face people who are, I'm not even sure it's a problem with the passing to be honest on pass assist for. I think it's more of the way your players move. Like there's certain situations where it's too predictable where I'm gonna pass, so I need to learn how to mix that up. So as you can see right here, um, I get the ball in the star and super cancel a lot and then i do a, uh, a chip through ball to him as you can see he doesn't slow down he keeps he keeps running so that's what i mentioned before um but yeah um, the, uh, as you saw here the pass into the box my load crosses need a lot of work because i just crossed it into no one but um yeah so that's another thing but because i lost the ball up the pitch it's not that bad when I lose the ball of the pitch, because I can transition and defend well. And because I've got the deep line on um, Rykard, it helps me a lot in certain situations to recover. Um, but as you can see, yeah, like sometimes I rush my passes like into space where I should be taking a touch. Again, dribbling because I don't know who to pass to. Like there's too many bodies around. I feel like I deserve that goal, but what can you do, eh? Um, so yeah, I avoid passing back to my keeper because there are some times where i just don't want to risk my keeper not knowing that i'm passing to him you know so i tend to avoid passing to my keeper but the day i pass to my keeper is the day i i'm fully confident on pass assist level four uh this pass to mbappe normally what would happen is you guys know sometimes your players take heavy touches but on pass assist four i've noticed i can turn quickly and um, as you saw, he used his weak foot there to score. So I, I think that's the phenomenal finishing coming into play because I was able to side foot it with the left foot instead of using the right. So it's pretty nice, can't lie. Um, but yeah, so I've noticed as well, like my players take better first touches when I use pass assist level four. It feels like um, the passes are way, as I mentioned as well, like I lost the ball there, but I didn't lose it in my half like that. It was more into the halfway line. So it's not bad. You just need to, obviously, as I mentioned before, like get your passes right in the, in the, in your defense. Cause you don't want to make a stupid pass and get countered. Cause that is punishment on this, on this. While you're like focusing, like putting time into it, you know to build up your play like one stupid mistake at the back and you just concede and then you gotta get used to the passing again and so on and so forth so that's another thing i'd suggest like avoiding so as you can see i don't pass back to my keeper i just i just get straight and this is another example right so i kick it with pillar pillar is high kicking power high passing and lofted like look there's actually weight on the ball now. Uh, so I didn't full power it, but the ball went flying. I guess, as I mentioned before, that might be the kicking power Pirlo has. So I probably don't have to put that much power on his passes compared to other players. Um, as you, I, By the way, these homing back 360 no scope passes my opponents do is insane. I don't know how back towards goal he found earlier, but he did. So, um, yeah. So what I did here was obviously you guys know he does the near post. This is this is different. Like these are sweats, right? You play against sweats. Like anything to get the advantage. So I notice he goes near post. So what do I do? Hullet. I pick Hullet, right? And we have the same Hullet, but I win the header. That's probably because I put more points in aerial than he did. He probably put four in Hullet, but I put like eight, I think. So he makes a mistake, and then obviously I do a manual pass into into Mbappe. By the way, I almost messed that up. See, this is a this is another example of um of me messing up here. I wanted to test our manual through balls, but I passed it just in behind Mbappe. But we luckily we scored. So I need to work on my sweating my sweating passes as well. So I was testing it there. I could have shot but I was just testing to see how I could how passing is when you're trying to sweat it. Um but yeah so yeah, like I mentioned my other video, it's a great transition, not the easiest, but it is very doable in, as you can see right here, I'm just going to show you this, I'm, I do a, um, 
a through ball into Mbappe. This is what I'm talking about, into space. So I do a through ball and I super cancel my run with Mbappe and, I'm, and I've left the defender. And Mbappe doesn't have, Mbappe doesn't have, um, he doesn't have chip shot control, but we're still able to chip the keeper because of the phenomenal finishing. So I think, I think that's why, because normally if I did that, it wouldn't it'd give me the animation. Um, but I could be wrong. I could just be chatting shit. Maybe the phenomenal finishing it, that is in it. Maybe it works for all strikers. But without the chip shot um, trait, I'm still able to chip the keeper. So I think that is phenomenal finishing coming into play there. But I could be wrong. Um, but yeah. So when I get the ball, I tend to get the ball going forward from defense because, I, like I mentioned before, I don't want to lose the ball in defense here. I'm not that confident passing around the back. But I'm telling you, when I get to the point I can do that, like I, I think it's going to bring a whole new level to my game because then I can start practicing uh, passing back to my keeper. And then um, because there's no, you don't get a little star with your with your strikers or forwards when making an over-the-top through ball, I might start experimenting with kicking it back to my keeper and then sending it long all the way to my striker and super cancelling to get into space, you know, stuff like that. I also want to do a lot of knock on like knock on through balls as well i need to practice um knock on crosses you know what i'm saying little stuff like that that i used to do on pass assist three two even one but i have noticed um when the ball is on the ground and i do knock on first times um i don't get that little bubble animation only if the ball is in the air slightly i get the animation but when the ball's on the ground I don't really get the uh, little bubble where you knock the ball on and the ball like gets away from your feet. So I haven't really noticed that that much. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I like these are animations that I don't really see often. So when we get the ball, we hull it. He goes for outside the foot pass straight. Like, like the animation is kind of nice. Again, see little things like this. I need to work on like passing into open space instead of going for like the the obvious pass but like i said i think um once you learn how to dribble like how to uh, retain the ball retain possession i think it's not bad it's actually really not bad because in that situation where i lost the ball i could have dribbled i could have like maybe created an angle for the sp uh, the pass to be open because as I mentioned before, you can pass into space. So I could have made a better diagonal run, as you saw here. Like normally, what I do here is I'd like just pass it to hull it. But because I wanted like more of an angled run and space, I waited for Mbappe to make a run out wide, and he did. That should be a foul, by the way. He pushed me from behind, but that's another thing. And this and this is my problem right here. This is what I'm struggling with is the composure to to like in this situation, just tap triangle into space. I put half bar and I messed up my counter attack. So, yeah, um, I don't think there's any there's much to talk about again. Again, uh, I'm very confident in my passing going forward. Sometimes, like I say, I do mess up, but it's 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 all right, to be honest. Like this, this is what exactly what I was talking about is getting the uh, exact power to do a chip through ball. Like a chip through ball, my hullet doesn't stop running, but he only like comes backwards because I put the power wrong. So in those situations, I just need to get the power right for a chip through ball, I think. And then we're good to go. But as you can see, like we're, we're passing. But I definitely recommend, um, for now, I recommend if you switch to passes four, I try on possession just just stick to possession for now because i'll explain why in a second because on possession what happens is when you play passes your players don't make runs they run towards the ball instead of running away from the ball so if you make a mistake passing um there should be another player in around that area to receive the ball so that's what I'm doing right now because possession, the players come to the ball instead of going away from the ball. And obviously, if you have a goal poacher, you can keep practicing your triangle passes and so on. 
Um, but yeah, I'd say definitely just practice switching to um, possession just to get used to the, the weight of the ball, how players move. And on possession, if you play wingers, the players always stay out wide. So you can practice switching wings on possession. You can practice passing to feet on possession. And then you can practice um, through balls into space on possession because your goal poacher makes a run into the box or into space. So it's a good uh, practice. And obviously, when you pass around the back, your players are closer together and then further apart. So it's definitely worth it, I'd say, to learn it with Biv possession compared to the other the other three. I'd say learn pass assist four on possession, then switch over to quick counter. No, then switch over to long ball counter, and then quick counter, I think. I think that's the way to go. But yeah, as I mentioned before, we played uh, four games in Division 1. We played a top 100 player, a very good player. Uh, we lost 2-1. Um, but I think, again, as I mentioned before, Donnarumma, I can't lie, near post, he just lets them in, man. So, I don't know, maybe I need to select my keeper from now on. Um, we drew against this guy as well, 2-2. I was 2-0 up. I should have won, but, um, yeah, again, if I went defensive or full blue, I could have, you know, won 2 nil. But I just wanted to, like I said, experiment. I don't really care about my win thing right now. Um, play against this guy as well. We won 2 1. And then obviously, this guy we played at the end, he won uh, 4 1, I think. But yeah, so um, yeah, so far, so good. Um, this is the team I used. The team does help, I'm not gonna lie, especially when you're transitioning from uh, defense to attack or defending. But as you guys have, as you guys do know, in my other videos, I've been using uh, mainly. Uh, so if I show you, I've been using mainly, sorry, I've been using like these kind of cards to try out. I've been using player of the weeks only teams. I've done GP teams. I've done using only the national players, like leveling up bit by bit in game. So like I said, I've got to the point where I'm very bored of the game. Like anything that's a challenge I'm willing to do at this point. I'm not going to do goalkeepers because let's be real, I'm not. And Div 1, there's only so much fun, there's so much, so much suffering you can have. So I, switched, I guess switching to PA4 is a new suffering for me. I'm enjoying it. It's a challenge. Um, but yeah, so I feel like for me to get used to it, I have to use this. I have to use this. Um, th these are uh, quality of players to do it. But like I said, I've got, um, if I just switch over to my other one. Well, not this team. Is this the team? I don't even know. Well, it, it is the team, but normally I have stones and I have the other Rodri. And I have Haaland and like some other players. I've just been using player of the week on this account. Pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, so I think we're, we're Div 1. Uh, we've, I think... I just go to divisions. Um, yeah, we're Div 1. Um, we've got 40 wins, 18 losses, and 8 draws. Uh, pretty good. But I'm going to try, again, I'm going to try manual passing on this as well to see what it's like. Whether it's a thing of um, the caliber players affects so and so on, so and so forth, and stuff like that. So, yeah, we're going to try um, that. And see what it's like but yeah i um, hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said before in my previous video um i will stream me using pa4 so you can see what it's like 